What is up, Power Maniacs? Power Stasis here. We are back in the world to feed the beast unleashed, and we are picking up where we left off last time. Uh, we just made the two compressors. Uh, a lot of you guys um, kind of put some input in on that. Um, I'm recording this later in the evening, so I haven't actually read the two videos comments that you guys have posted. Because uh, while technically this is in the future for you guys, it's in the past for me, if that makes any sense. Um, so I'm finally starting to get my head around this Emmy interface type system deal. And uh, I think I've more or less got everything figured out. So I'm hoping that I won't have to uh, to haggle with this too much more. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and go over what we were trying to do last time, just for a quick refresher. Uh, we are working on making the MFSU. MFSU requires an advanced machine block. Uh, problem with this is we need carbon plates and we need advanced alloys. Uh, we're going to start with the carbon plates. With the carbon plates, you need a raw carbon mesh and a compressor. Uh, and you need two raw carbon fibers to make the mesh. And you need four coal dust to make the carbon fibers. Well, we have the coal dust automated out here, so it's no problem. Uh, we've got that set up to where we always have a certain amount of coal dust. The problem is when we want to make these carbon plates, we have to make, and this is always the sticking point, we have to go from a finished product, which is combining these two things into the carbon mesh, and then the machine has to be smart enough to know, oh, well, I need to take this and flatten it in the compressor and then make these carbon plates. The way you do it is you need to make, first off, you need to make, uh, let's see, let's go ahead and make one. Carbon. You need to make one of these. And once you've made one of those, you'll have that. You need to come over to the recipe and you need to make, basically make this. Now I've already done this, you'll see down here, it's the carbon plate. And basically you put the carbon mesh here and then you put the carbon plate here, you encode, and you'll end up with this little monster here. What that basically says is once you've made X, then this is how you make Y. All right, so we're gonna come over here, we're gonna take our ME interface, plant it right here. Uh, we're going to put inside of it the recipe here. And then the last thing that we need to do is we need to have the basic import bus going right there. And that's it. All right, so now that we've done that for that one, uh, I'd already done that one and tested it to make sure it works. We're going to go ahead and do the other one, and hopefully I won't manage to screw it up in the process. So let's go ahead and make our ME interface that we're going to need. So we're going to go ahead and begin that. It shouldn't take too long for our little system to spit that out. Thank you. And we'll put him... Uh, Whoops, that is not where I wanted him. Pick that back up. Let's try this again with less fail. Oh, wow. We somehow managed to make it even more fail. Let's break it one more time. All right, now it's down. Perfect, and I can get in and out. All right, so for the next part, we're going to be making these advanced alloys, which are just simply compressing the compressed ingots into these. Now, I've already taught the machine how to make those, I believe. Yes, we have. So we're going to see if that actually functions first. Hopefully it has. Uh, as you can see, we did end up with two. We're going to come over here to the machine. We're going to slap one of those ingots in there. That's going to go ahead and grind that little monster out, hopefully. And it was automatically taken into the machine. So we're gonna to need to open this up and there is our advanced alloy. So now that we've got the two pieces that we need, we need to be able to trick the recipe. So let's clear, put you here, put you here. We're gonna go ahead and encode. That gives us the recipe we need. And we're gonna come back out here and we're gonna splot it in. So let's right click, slap that guy right there. And now let's test it and make sure it works. So the easiest way to test that is simply order another one. So we've got that one set up. Let's go ahead and order another one. We're at zero. Here the machine just kicked on and come on now, import. There it is. All right, so we now have, oh, that is not what I meant to click. So now I am, there we go, that should help. All right, let's import everything back into the machine real quick. And now we're gonna do do we make the machine, whoops, do we make the machine block, or the MFE block? I think we did, MFSU, whatever. Uh, do we, I think we did the advanced circuit. Let's make sure, do we get the advanced circuit in there? Yes. Uh, the MFSU is not in here yet. So we need to make that little monstrosity now. So we're gonna go ahead and clear, slap that. Uh, the Lapatron crystals, do we get those set up? I think we did. 
Uh, yes. Okay. Just making sure we had all that set up. Let's go ahead and add that. We're going to go ahead and encode, pop that out, spit that in, and then we're going to see if it will actually produce. I'm going to put all of these pieces back in, um, including that and that. Put that on us. And let's go ahead and make one MFSU. This will be our first one. Begin. Crossing fingers as it makes all of the pieces that we need. Hopefully I didn't miss any of the parts. And hopefully that will spit out. Now what may have happened is I may have missed a few of the side recipes. Uh, specifically the Lapatron crystals or something along those lines may be twerked. So yes, it does look like the Lapatron crystals are the holdup. So I need to come down and take a look at the Lapatron crystal recipe. Um, two electronic circuits and one energy crystal. So something is wrong with the Lapatron. I know why. I know why. All right, so we're gonna put the Lapatron crystal back in. We're gonna pop you back out. Uh, if you can see right here, these are 30240. I think I, I cover this every single time we do it. These are 30240.26. So we need to make one of those. Spits it out. There we go. We're going to open this up and then we're just going to simply change all of those. There we go. Now I need to wipe you real quick. There we go. Put you back. And let's try that one more time. Let's jump up here and clear. Uh, what is it? Shift click. Yes. Okay. And then uh, make me one MFSU, please. Well, let's do it here. MFSU. Make me one. And while it's doing its thing, we're going to go ahead and take a quick nap since it is pitch black and we're going to want the night or the daytime anyway. Oh, I hate it when it rains. This mod pack rains like crazy, too. All right. Dropping it in. And do we have our MFSU? We do. All right, so the problem with the MFSU and what we're gonna need to be careful with is that I believe is high voltage. Yes, it spits out 512. So this over here is gonna be uh, medium. No, that's, yeah, that's medium voltage. So we need to kick our machines up from medium voltage to high voltage. So each of these are gonna need one more transformer upgrade. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight machines. So let's go ahead and do eight transformer upgrades. And we're gonna test these, um, we're gonna test these with one setup first. Uh, the reason we're gonna do it with only one machine is that way there's a possibility we may actually need to give it um, two upgrades if my numbers are off. So seven and eight, there we go. All right, so we're gonna pop that out, come back in here and grab you. Thank you very much. And then uh, this is the one that we don't use too terribly often. That is an extractor. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this up here. All right, and then we're gonna come over here. We're gonna grab that. That's right, we have to be on top, don't we? Actually, let's just grab one. of. Let's grab two of these from inside here. Uh, I guess we only have one. Well, that'll work too. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set him here. And then I need, uh, da, 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 da. we need some glass fiber cables. All right, I'm too far. There we go. All right, and so we are connecting these. And if that works, we're now loading up. So this one right here can put out a maximum of 512. Obviously that thing's not putting out 512, a tick. All right, so we're gonna put one, two in here and that's gonna let us know if it's gonna work or it's gonna explode. Please don't explode. All right, it does not look like it exploded. Uh, part of the reason for that is it doesn't look like it's actually connected to an output. So we're gonna turn it and it is now filling up. So now you can see with this, we should be able to run uh, a ridiculous amount of overclockers with that. So we are gonna test that real quick. Uh, we're gonna actually yank the overclockers out of him. And we're gonna put the overclockers in here. That's gonna put us at 10. That's insane. 
All right, well, we're going to go ahead and pull out seven more. That's a 17. There we go. All right, so let's try 15. Can it handle 15? Not quite. It's close, but not quite. 14? Negative. Let me let that charge up just a bit. Those five 12 packets, got to fill it up. How about three? No, not even 13. 12. Nope. 11. 10. Uh, actually, now that I think about it, that's why. We don't have enough juice. It's not that it may not be able to support it, it's that we simply don't have enough juice coming down the pipe. So let's break that one. Got it. Let's break that one. We got it. Let's jump over here. I'm going to rip these all out real quick. Bam. And bam. Oh, that noise, man. I'm telling you what. Isn't it sexy? I'm going to put you here. Put you here. Put you on top. And we're going to put you there. Okay, so now we have enough energy coming in, just barely. As you can see, that is barely holding up. But we're able to do 10 at a time. And that's pretty fucking quick. All right, so we have how many solar panels? We've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got five solar panels. Now these are MVs. Uh, let's see, I got six. So we need one more medium voltage solar panel. So we're gonna go ahead and set that to build. That should theoretically build very quickly. I'm hoping. There's five, there's six, there's seven. Now we have our one low voltage. That's going to take a bit. So while it's doing its thing, we're going to bring this over and drop that. Now how is that giving us? Yeah, we're starting to pull up a surplus now. So that's 10. We're going to drop 11 in. Hold and steady. Uh, of course, now we've reached a point where there's nothing else to grind. So we've actually caught up with our backlog. Which uh, actually kind of blows. Because I kind of wanted to pull. There we go. We'll pull those out. There we go. How about that? Uh, 12 does seem to be draining. Now, is that faster than this can pull? Yeah, that's, that's sucking pretty hard, actually. So I'm going to say 11 is probably the max for this. Yeah, 11 is about the max at the moment that this thing can output. Now, obviously, there is a maximum of 512 packets that can be coming through here. See right here, you see where it says uh, 512 EU a tick? Well, what that's basically saying is a Minecraft tick is 20 ticks a second. So every second, we have 512 times 20. So that's uh, what? Uh, 10,240? So 10,240 power is coming down this tube to this machine every second. So you've got to balance how much is in here without how much can actually spit out. Now. There may be, I, I do believe high voltage is as fast as it can go. So no matter how much I put in here, the maximum amount that can come through this, this, this pipe from the MFSU is 512. As far as I know, there is nothing better than an MFSU. Uh, I may be wrong about that. And if I am, feel free to let me know, but this thing can hold 10 million power. So that's a lot. Uh, so, so we're just limited at 512 packets. Now what we can do is we could have multiple MFSUs, all of them powering different banks of machines. That way in case any machine is pulling more than its share of 512, it's not a problem. All right, so let's look at our solar panels again. We now have our medium voltage. So that gives us four, five, six, seven. Am I missing one somewhere? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, yeah, I thought we had more than that. So yeah, that's six up. We need one more. Damn it, Bobby. All right, medium voltage, go ahead and begin. All right, so while that's beginning, it's medium voltage production, which is gonna take a bit. Uh, all of these little machines here are gonna be, actually I should probably upgrade the whole row now that I think about it. So let's go ahead and upgrade um, that to two this to two because I want this whole row functioning off of this line specifically these two machines here because they're the ones we actually are going to be using frequently 
Uh, and I need to make sure every single one's got the deuce, because otherwise uh, it's going to explode. All right, we need one more. Transformer upgrade. Go ahead and give me one more, buddy. You can do it. There we go. All right, so we got two, 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 two. two. To it. I'm just double checking because you do not want to be exploding these. All right, so we're gonna put that there, uh, and I'm gonna break these because we don't need these anymore. There we go, and then we're just gonna tap it into the line. Bam. All right, so this is gonna be rocking and rolling now. We're gonna go ahead and pull the uh, 11 out of there, and we're gonna slap the 11 into this and see what happens. Good God! <laughs> that is insane. Now you can hear... It's, it's, it's almost fluctuating, almost turning off, but it's still producing pretty fast. It's actually producing faster than the export bus is yanking out. So I'd say we're doing pretty good with that. Let's see how the production is doing. Um, zipping along pretty good. All right, how about you? How are you holding up? You're at seven. You're moving, but you're still kind of slow too. We're gonna pull those out, and we're gonna go ahead and get you up to 11 as well. All right, so now both of those are at 11. We'll put you back in. And I think between these two, we're gonna be spitting out solar panels pretty quickly. I mean, it's actually gonna be faster for me to yank that out of the system and put that in there. There we go. And we're fixing to have our last one. All right, so while we're waiting on that to do its thing, we're gonna come over here. And now we're gonna be making, because we've got, we've got the solar panel, the medium solar, and the low solar. Now we want the high solar. So we do high powered solar, which is right here. High voltage solar, which obviously is gonna need the HV transformer. And then all of the mediums. So let's go ahead and look at the HV transformer. We've already got the energy crystals, we've already got that, we've already got the MV transformer. We are gonna need to make the four x four two XNs. So let's go ahead and get some rubber out, in case we need some, we have plenty of rubber now. We're gonna clear that, and then let's look it up. So we need, oh my God, dude. All right, so we need some refined iron surrounded by that. That's going to give us the insulated HV cable. Okay, so this is the one we need to move to now. So we're going to select that. And that's going to give us the 2XNs. So we're going to encode that. And then finally, it's this, which is the 4XNs. And we're going to encode that. So that should give us everything we need up until the actual item itself, which is uh, right here. Now I do need to pull out one of the energy crystals so I can have that set up. We've already got the electronic circuits done. So let's pull out an energy crystal real quick. Build me one of those instantaneously. Clear. And we're gonna slap that on there. Replace that with that. Encode. There we go. And then finally, we want the high voltage one, which will encode. Oh, I guess we're out of those. Blank. There we go. And perfect. Let's add all of these back in. And I'm gonna come out here real quick. We're gonna pop these all off real fast. Okay. And we're gonna put them inside. Okay, and then we're gonna do solar. And we need one high voltage, please. All right, while that is crafting, we're gonna take another nap real fast. Now, now that we have made the transition to high voltage, which is the top end normal solar panels, uh, we're gonna start building up our supply of those. There she is. And I'm pretty sure the MFSU can handle this. Almost positive. Yeah. You can see that's going up pretty damn fast. 
because this is actually better than eight of the mediums. I don't know what the modifier is, but it's pretty damn good. Uh, so we start making <laughs> we start making these bad boys, and just think of the number of materials, because each one of these is eight mediums, and each one of those is, you know, that's eight times eight, and then that's sixty four times eight, and it, it just gets ridiculous. So, you know, now with just a simple push of a button, we can bypass all of that crafting and back in the day i mean there were people who used to make competitions on who could make the most efficient factory with project tables and automated production to make one of these per button press and now we have one mod that makes it so all we have to do is just click this and click begin and it's it's ridiculous it's it's absolutely ridiculous i, I love it so what we're going to do in the next episode, um, for those of you guys who watched the live stream today, you saw that I ran out of oil briefly and that my um, steam boilers both shut off. Uh, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be setting up the farms we built um, a while back with, um, what is it, uh, MF, my Factory Reload, there we go, MFR. We're going to set that up so that we can easily produce those and uh, we're going to start making biofuel from MFR. Uh, we may look at, I need to look at the forestry version and see which version is more efficient. I'm 99% sure that uh, the MFR version is far superior, but I need to make sure. And as long as that is, then we're going to set up the farm for that. Then we're going to get off of oil and get on to, um, what do you call it? Biofuel. And that should be a pretty easy swap. Then we won't have to worry about our steam power. We'll have plenty of that, uh, which in all honesty may not even be an issue anymore once we get um, a few more of these panels online. Now, uh, one other thing I did want to show you guys that we are going to start taking a look at as well is some of the hybrid solar panels. Now, these things make those other ones over there look like nothing. Uh, they're, they're ridiculous. Now, this is easy. The carbon plating for this is very simple. Um, not too shabby, not too hard to make at all. Uh, the iridium plates, these are where things are going to start getting a little bit funky. Uh, and then for the ultimate hybrid right up here, some of these require uh, some advanced nuclear stuff. And we're going to have to get into uh, UU matter before we can even approach those. But that, that shouldn't be too hard to do. So anyways, hopefully you guys liked this episode. If you did, slap that like button. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip.